took Newcastle just 11 minutes to expose Reading's defence, the cross from Aitken, the finish from McGee. By the 20th minute, Newcastle were two up. Mark Stimson started the move with a ball square across a static Reading defence. Again, it was the Newcastle and Scotland captain Roy Aitken proving why Newcastle paid Celtic half a million pounds for his services. Another smart move down the right and an inch-perfect cross to McGee again. On Saturday, Newcastle gifted Reading two goals with appalling back passes. You'd have thought they'd learnt their lesson, but apparently not. This effort from Ranson had one or two hearts fluttering once again. Such was Newcastle's dominance of the half, McGee could have had a hat-trick. Only the post denied him. Into the second half now, and Newcastle put the game beyond Reading with a brilliant individual strike by top scorer Mick Quinn. Despite the close attention of two defenders, Quinn turned beautifully to fire home his 25th goal of the season. Reading pressed hard at the end, and three minutes from time, Trevor Senior pulled one back. That set up a frantic finish, and a minute later nearly brought Reading a second. Only a goal line clearance denied the visitors. But Newcastle weren't finished. Well into injury time, substitute David Robinson made it 4-1. Next stop, Manchester United, and Mark McGee looks forward to adding to his cup tally. The cup, you know, to get four goals in the cup is uh, great, you know, and any, by anybody's standards, you know. I'm absolutely delighted, but uh, as I say, most importantly, we're in the next round. <laughs>